Well, here we are again this morning, uh, coming again from our offices at Valley Road in Streatham in South London, uh, the offices for the Caris Community Trust. Uh, I told you my name yesterday, but in case there's somebody new, it's Mossy, and I'm director of the Caris Community Trust, and I'm delighted to be with you this morning as the Oblet family come together in a reflective prayer based on the gospel readings or reading uh, for today. Um, yesterday I asked you to pray for um, homeless people triggered by my encounter with a man when I came here early who had slept rough the night before. And we work with people, homeless people with addiction problems. And so this morning, I'd like you to remember somebody who may be suffering from addiction, from some substance misuse or another. And for a moment, as we did yesterday morning, we'll be silent. And maybe you know somebody whom you can draw into your mind's eye now and hold in your heart just for a few seconds. Uh, by the way, before I, I read the, the, the Gospel reading, I was told yesterday that uh, my belly was sticking out somewhat, so I'm trying to sit up straight uh, this morning a little bit more. <laughs> we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. And I'd like you to read, I'd like to read for you this morning uh, the Gospel for this Thursday of the 17th week in Ordinary Time. In fact, it's Friday of the 17th week. Sorry about that. Coming to his hometown, Jesus taught the people in their synagogue in such a way that they were astonished and said, Where did a man get this wisdom and these miraculous powers? This is the carpenter's son, surely. Is not his mother, the woman called Mary, and his brother James and Joseph, and Simon and Jude, his sisters too, are they not all here with us? So where did the man get all this? And they would not accept him. But Jesus said to them, a prophet is only despised in his own country and in his own house. And he did not work many miracles there because of their lack of faith. The Gospel of the Lord. This morning's reflection could begin and end in one question. Has familiarity blinded you to the prophets in your hometown? In today's Gospel, when Jesus went back to his own town, he was treated with scepticism, born out of such familiarity. You're joking. Is he not the carpenter's son? And is that is not that one Mary, his mother? Sarcasm, sarcasm and cynicism. Sarcasm and cynicism both need their audience. Gossip spreads. Chinese whispers gather pace and abound. Doubt is sown. And quicker than we think, credibility is undermined. And think, reflect where that leaves anyone. Even Jesus was hamstrung in his ministry by such ostracization. On the road to Emmaus, on the evening of the resurrection, Luke tells us that beginning with Moses and all the prophets, he instructed them, that is, 
the three downhearted companions travelling with him, in all the scripture regarding the things concerning himself. Yes, prophets have had and continue to have a vital role in God's work. No need to name them, but maybe a worthwhile exercise for any of us, even a challenge, is to list prophets who've played a major role in the church down the ages. Think of all the feast days of saints, prophets, we celebrate. Was not our own Eugene de Masnet a prophet of his time? Archbishop Roscoe, Roscoe Romero, Teresa of Calcutta. Charismatic prophets manifesting God's presence in a specific way. Prophets for justice, equality, peace, clemency. Prophets who stand up, speak up and act for future generations, for our fragile world, against greed and selfishness. For world health, for the education of children in countries where there is little or none education, for the fair distribution of wealth. Those prophets in our communities neighbourhoods and indeed homes, the ones who call us beyond our certainties and out of our smugness and comfort zones. Prophets, they're in our midst. Let us thank God for those prophets and say, God bless the prophets among us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for joining me this morning again for morning prayer. Uh, I hope you have a lovely day, and I look forward to joining somebody else tomorrow morning in leading us in this wonderful prayer together.